getting tons of free traffic through proper Shopify SEO. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Shopify video. I'm Shuri Kanase and today we're going to be discussing how you guys can start getting a lot of free traffic to your Shopify store for just about 15 to 20 minutes of work. And I guarantee you, if you follow this video till the end, your Shopify store is going to really maximize profits and sales long term. I'm sure you have heard hundreds of times by now that in 2019 and onwards, it is going to be really important that you start building a brand. And one important step to building a profitable brand is to do proper Shopify SEO. Because when you do proper SEO for the products on your Shopify store, what you're basically telling Google is, hey, check out my products. It follows every single guideline that you have and it should be, and that is the reason why it should be ranked first on Google. And unless you live under a rock in a cave, you probably know that Google search is one of the biggest platforms right now in the world in terms of the searches done every single month. So it is super important to have your Shopify store rank on Google so that more of your products sell and you get more organic traffic. But without continuing on with this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel and also leave a like down below if you guys are finding any type of value in my videos. And let's just jump right into it. All right guys, so you're going to be needing two things in order to do proper SEO. The first thing is that you need a working Shopify store. And the second thing is that you need a Google Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. And your Google Chrome won't show all of this data that I'm seeing right now, such as the volume and all of these related keywords and everything else on the right side. But once you get this Google Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere, and you can get it by just doing a simple Google search, your Shopify SEO will be taken to the next level. I can't tell you guys how important this tool is in order to do proper SEO. So make sure to download this Chrome extension first so that you start seeing all of this data that I see. And I'll be showing you guys why this data is important, but now that you have installed it, let's go back to our Shopify store. So for this tutorial, I have already went ahead and imported a specific product to my store and it is a posture corrector, which we will be doing SEO for. And I'll be going step by step on exactly how you guys need to do proper SEO. So let's go ahead and open this product up. And so far I have done nothing else except import it directly to my Shopify store, which is why you see the AliExpress description still. But the first thing that we start with is a proper title. For the title, let's go ahead and go back to our Google Doc where we can write all of this down. But for the title, you want to be creating a title that is very specific to the product itself. So let's go ahead and write this down. Create a title for the product, which is very specific. In addition, you want to throw around some keywords which may be important to the product. So throw in some keywords which are related to the product and super important. I'll be going over exactly what I mean by the keywords that you have to throw in. So let's go back to our Shopify store again and see what I have so far. For the title, I have only three words, which is adjustable posture corrector. Now, the thing you want to keep in mind is you do not want to go overboard with the title where it just looks unprofessional. The maximum amount of words that you should have in your title in order to remain professional is five. Anything below five or at five is good for the title. So in this case, we can write something that is related to the posture correct. And the best way to do that is simply copy and paste your title into a Google search and see what kind of words are at the very top. So let's go ahead and go to the Google search that I've opened up and just write in posture corrector in my case. All right guys, so when we write that down, we see several options. We see posture corrector, which has 60,500 monthly searches which is what these numbers mean, by the way. We have Posture Corrector Amazon. We have Posture Corrector for men, reviews, device, etc. What you want to be doing is basically taking some of the keywords which have a high monthly search volume of above 1500 and put that in your title. So we can see that Posture Corrector for men has a monthly search volume of 1900 searches but we also see that posture corrector bra has 1100 monthly searches and if you just continue on with this keyword over here which is posture corrector for men and just type in four we can see that four men has a monthly search volume of 1900 while for women has a monthly search volume of 1300 so in this case we want to target both males and females so let's go back to our product and write for men slash women 
or male slash female. So let's go back and see if it was for women. Yeah, it was for women. So we want to stick to for women. And this one a little bit above five words, and that is fine as long as you have all the important stuff within the title. Now that we're done with the title, we want to go ahead and go to our description. Our description is the number one factor to ranking in the top area. And the one thing that we absolutely do not want to do under any circumstances is use the AliExpress description. Because honestly, it is not going to get you any type of results. I doubt you'll even get sales with a description like this. So let's go ahead and delete that and write a new description. I'm going to pause this video really quick just to write up a description. I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So I ended up writing the entire description and I want to go over a few things with the description for you guys. So the description is not only created to give your customers a better understanding of what the product is and what the product does, but it is also created to give you a better ranking in Google because a good description with high quality keywords is going to help you beat your competition and place you above them in the top. Our main goal should be to be ranking at the very top of the first page on Google and this strategy will help you do exactly that so let's go over the things I have written down first the hook I have written my hook in a heading which just simply says say hello to a new you of course it can be created much more differently and can be worded in a way so that it relates directly to the posture of a person but for the sake of this tutorial I wanted to keep it simple so in order to really rank at the top of a page you need to have a hook with a heading this one I wrote in the heading section number one so whenever you write a hook you want to make sure that the hook is in heading one because when Google crawls over your website and your descriptions it reads all of the heading tags and the paragraph tags and if you have a good heading which somehow incorporates the title it gives you the best results in this case I did not incorporate the title but nonetheless it is a good hook Moving on to the paragraph tags, which is basically having these not headings, but rather paragraphs. I simply wrote that posture is one of the most defining factors of an individual because it holds us upright and gives us the boost in confidence we need. So again, we have a lot of emotional words. This goes back to how I mentioned that each description needs to have a lot of emotions in order to really sell. I released a video on how I made $23,000 in November and it goes over a lot of the strategies regarding description and other stuff. Be sure to check that out. But now coming back to SEO, the main thing that I want you guys to focus on is how many times I mentioned the title in the description. So here we go. I mentioned the title over here and I made it in bold because making something in bold or in heading tags just like this one really helps push your search listing to the top and we made the title of the product in bold. Moving on we wrote no more slouching or slumping over your desk because with our posture corrector again we wrote the title of the product so this is around the second time I've included the title. We say you'll sit upright with determination. Not only will this help boost your confidence and give your body the boost in energy it needs to work, but it will also redefine the structure of your backbone. So someone who may be searching for a adjustable posture corrector may also write something about backbone or slouching, which I've mentioned right here, or also slumping. So these are all keywords related to the item itself. And then we go on to say that some key features of our posture corrector, again, we included the title of the product, include feature one, feature two, feature three, etc. And lastly, we want the shipping info to be in the end. But it, from this description, you get a general idea that the more times you mention the title of the product and incorporate keywords which are related to the product, the better your chances of ranking higher in Google search engine. Be sure to use heading tags from formatting and also make letters bold which are related to the specific keyword as well. Now that we have done this, Let's go on and do the most important part of SEO, which is the bottom section right over here. Search engine listing preview. So currently, this is how our search engine listing looks like on Google. If someone were to search up posture corrector or adjustable posture corrector, they would be shown exactly what we are seeing over here right now. But we're not done. We don't want this to show because as you can see, it has a lot of unnecessary keywords in here, which we can change just like this one. This one just end the sentence without fully completing it. We don't want that. So what we want to do is go ahead and click on edit website SEO and do some more editing. So right now we have only used up 42 of 70 characters for our page title. Whenever we're doing SEO, we want to make sure that we use up all 70 characters. So let's go over to our Google Doc and write that down. So whenever creating the page SEO title, title, you want to make sure 
that you use up all the characters for it. And this is really important because we're given 70 characters to basically appear in the search engine. So why not? Let's go ahead and change this up a bit. Right now we have adjustable posture corrector for men slash woman let's go back to our google search and see if we can find some other keywords so we have for men for women for kids let's take out the four and see what else comes up posture corrector device okay that has 2900 monthly searches so that is something we can use because this is technically a device to change your posture so device for men women's device and then let's go back and try to incorporate some more so since this is somewhat of like a brace we can write the keyword brace and see what comes up so just by tapping br we see brace has 440 monthly searches and we have brace reviews brace reddit brace plus size so let's go ahead and write that down as well so adjustable posture creator for men slash women we want to incorporate the word brace after corrector because that makes the most sense in this case. And now that we have a general setup for our page title, there's one important thing you want to do. You want to add a space and you want to add this little line. And after this line, you want to add the name of your store. So let me write this down for you guys. So title of store. And of course you want it all to fit within the characters, but it gives your store a very professional look if you rank for this keyword and after the line, there is a title of your store. So let's write this down. After the initial title of your product, you want to add a line, and I'm talking about this line right here, and add the title of your store. This is the perfect technique to use if you wanna rank high in Google searches and also give your store a professional look. So let's go back. Now that we have done the page title, it's time for the description. And this is the meta description, which again needs to have a lot of keywords, related to the product itself if you want to rank high. So let's go ahead and delete this part because this is kind of unnecessary for the meta description at least. It is perfect for the description we have above. But again, for the meta description, we want to have a lot of our keywords. So right now we have posture is one of the most defining factors of an individual because it holds us upright and gives us the boost and confidence we need. Day-to-day -day life has become consumed with desk work where a person spends half of his or her working day in front of a computer. We wanna also delete this and write more features about our product itself. So let's go up and see what we can take from our original description. So let's take this part because it is really relating to the posture corrector and it is also a problem a lot of people with back problems want to focus on. So let's copy and paste this part. So redefine causing less problems in the later years. All right, let's take that and paste it over here. And we went over the 320 characters limit. So again, we want to work around, play with it, and try to get it within the specific limit. So let's remove this sentence and see how much we reduce that down to. All right, 382. So let's rephrase this sentence. Instead of saying no more slouching, let's write no slouching anymore and more confidence with your body. And let's remove all of this stuff. So, oh, that's perfect, 320 of 320, all right. So again, this is a very concise yet powerful meta description, which has a lot of keywords related to people with the back problems and addresses these issues. And the page title does a good job of having good keywords such as posture, corrector, brace, man, woman, device, which can directly help you rank high in the Google searches. And for the URL and handle, you can leave this as it is because we have done the most important work, but that was all for this tutorial guys if you found any type of value in this video make sure to leave a like down below and i'll see you guys next time